Um, so uh, you worked with uh, Dennis Herring on the last record? I did, yeah. Yeah, you know, I have a long history with Dennis Herring. No, Both I did not know that. bands, Camper Van Beethoven and oh, Cracker, okay. were recorded by Dennis Herring, and yeah. I've known him since he was just kind of like a little nerdy guy carrying still around a guitar. Still a little nerdy guy. He's still a little nerdy guy. He definitely hasn't grown anymore, has he? That ego has. Well, yeah, well, Dennis has always suffered from high self-esteem, so as we say. Yeah. But Dennis was kind of like a nerdy guy, like running around, like recording on like, you know, like a Pointer Sister Records and stuff like yeah. that, you know, like a little session cat. I think he plays on the... He's no on one. We Are the World. Yeah, he plays on... Um, uh, nobody gonna break my stride. You know, the, the, yeah, yeah, so... Really? You, yeah, know, you can embarrass him with that stuff, but... So you, so you did this record in, a lot of it in Oxford then. Yeah. The, that group um, there? God, wasn't it, I mean, isn't it like... He like wrote on the southern... inside of his walls or something. He'd get drunk and go home. Yeah. Some, some college student told me that that might have been a lie. Yeah. Yeah, so... But that was like big cultural clash being yeah. in Mississippi. Did it, do you think it added anything to the record? The record's pretty different. Honestly, the bars close at 10 there. Nine oh, well. some nights. And... It probably just made it so Steven and I just didn't drink as much and focused on recording. Okay, so it worked out. It right? was probably a little bit helpful. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so many like broy college kids like running around screaming at ESPN uh -huh. that it's like almost impossible to go out and have like a regular time. <laughs> okay, well, then. so we stayed in the condo most of the time. Well, so so proud Larrys, you hung out at proud Larrys then, yeah. then you could. Um, all right, so how long are you on tour um, right now? It looks like you're it looks this pretty is the long. Beginning. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just woke up a little bit. I, we, that's all right. That's all right. When we we always see. we actually try to interview people when they wake up. It's, uh, they tend to actually tell us the truth. Yeah. Before I the publicists even. get near them and feed you the talking points. So. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a little over six weeks. We're about a, mm -hmm. almost a weekend now. Mm -hmm. And where in California do you live? I mean, so I live California. in LA. You live in LA. Okay, yeah. LA proper. Yeah. Okay. I always liked LA. Uh, you know, my band sort of were known for being from Northern California, but I was actually from the Inland Empire, and I've actually you're always, from Inland. Yeah, I'm actually sort of pro. Um, you know, our county slogan is um, "We will kick your ass," I. right? That, yeah, I.E. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm <laughs> I.E. So, so um, I've always been a big supporter of LA over, like, you know how there's kind of a Northern California, Southern California rivalry. And, there's a little bit of that. You no, know, yeah. but people kind of talk down about it. But I've always been a. a I always felt, you know, a lot, lot bigger, a lot more. Diverse, a lot more interesting music scene in Southern San California. San Diego's got a great music scene. San as well, Diego as always has, and nobody's ever um, talks about that much and stuff. So I feel like they've been talking about it a little bit more uh, over the past year. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, this is really all we need, unless you have anything else you have to say, because we're going to record some of you today, well, either when you're sound checking or the show, whatever you like. So. Man, this has been the easiest interview. Okay, ever. and then you'll get like. 30 minutes of airtime or 20 minutes of airtime in the music. So. Cool. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, man. Mm -hmm.